navigation lights. I mean, it is low, just a tiny little thing on the bow. Wires pretty much run. Got some inside lights on the inside. I mean, real simple setup. I don't have the uh, main battery in for the engine. Fuel tank in and running. Actually, I got anchor light. Switch system, build switch. The light in the hatch so I can see what's in there. Uh, right now I'm running off a, <laughs> a drill battery. But yeah, a little bit to do. Still got some some tidying up here. Um, but looking pretty slick for the most part. <clears throat> Gotta finish wiring up the key switch to um, kill the engine and we'll turn it on or off. And I'll still have the kill switch there. It's just a pain to kill it with this all the time. All right. I think it's looking pretty awesome. Getting there. All right, guys. So here we are. Let's give you a quick walk down. What she looks like. Let's make zoom out some. Some of it's still in mock-up mode, but all right. So I've talked you through, I've talked you through um, all the stuff that I've done from front to back. So let me just walk through it. So first off, really low profile. Um, give you an idea how low that is. My finger beside it, so super low profile. Um, navigation lights there again like I've said before I'm going to replace the seats but it's what I got for now um, so I use this um, I don't know what you call it it's where you hide cables for, for putting up a TV I think it's going to be a temporary thing I don't know if it's going to work it doesn't seem to be holding up very well it doesn't make me feel like it's going to hold up very well so, eh, kind of is what it is. Let me use it for now. Um, seat mounts. I'm using these. I forgot what the brand is. I try to look it up. A Bass Pro Shop. Um, but they are non-corrosive, uh, plastic, heavy-duty plastic. And pull this lever right here, and the seat pops right off. So, pretty nice. Oh. Uh, remove the seats when I want to um, typical jug this is my old jug put some fresh couple gallons of gas just to test things out um, got it kind of up here but it's not what I'm gonna sit it's most likely likely gonna end up living right there um, I hate that because when I'm by myself let me back up a little when I'm by myself in this thing I already know it the, the bow rises up really easy so either way um, let me move this so you can see so I've got this rule mate um, Bilge pump, it's mounted in solid. I don't have the hose clamps on just yet. But it just snaps out. Um, snaps back in. Real simple. The entire idea of this boat build was just a simple design. Um, I got the, so just, let's just look at the bilge. 
got the bilge routed over here. Um, I'm gonna mount that to the side of the uh, to the to the transom area. And coming off the side. There she is. Hard to see, which I think is what I wanted. It's just above the logo there, as you can see. Anyway, uh, lost my train of thought there. So, bilge. Oh, yeah, what I was saying, I'm not done with the transom by any means, um, but it's solid. I've got one of those drain plugs that if you leave it out, it's got like a scupper in it. I added these stainless steel tie downs. Side. Here's your tie down. So it's really sunny out here. You can't really see the plug down there. It's kind of hidden, which is fine there. Uh, electrical. Well, we'll get to electrical in a minute. So, had a new plate made for this. Um, wish I'd had a new plate made for the other, but I didn't. Underneath here, but it looks okay. Um, made a little mistake on the transom. I got a, a mock piece of wood here at the moment. Uh, not intended to be permanent. Just getting something in place so I can mock everything up. Um, let's see what else to talk about back here. All right, so let's talk about electrical and we'll come back to it. Seats. Um, so I got... The switch panel that came with it, I just cleaned it up and reused it. I added a key switch, I added some lights, and walk around the other side. Yeah, better view. It's so bright out here. So you see the build build switch other switch on this I mean the other light on this side that's pretty simple all right what I'm, I'm about to show you the battery it's in this box here there's a uh, one one strand of wire running to the front to the bow light one set of wires coming to the back running the bilge and the anchor light right there. see the anchor light Anchor light made to just fold down if needed, or up, however. Real simple. Um, like I said, I added a key switch. This is a mess now. I'm just it's mocked up at the moment, but you know, small battery key switch trying to figure out the key switch and how I want to use it I've actually got um, let me show you so key switch on I was just running this so it's got water in it but uh oh uh -oh. what did I do so just to show you a demonstration I got the kill switch wire temporarily just to try out how I want to work the key switch so key switch on Take three. I got some starter issues. Um, it works. You just got to tap one every now and then. But anyway, all right. Key switch on. You zoom this way out so you can see everything. Key. Key switch off. Kills it. So from the seat, you know, without turning around and forcing myself to pull the kill switch um, to kill it every time. Um, I think I can press the button, the red button to kill it, but I don't know. Just, I can reach down and turn the key off a lot easier. Um, that's about it. I still got some work to do on the trailer. I got a 
button up um button up the hose here you know this stuff put some uh little tie tie down type things connect it to the back wall to the uh transom um i've still got i gotta find a cable to make me a um what am i trying to say like a trolling motor type connection i haven't found one i like yet still trying to figure that out um i need three wires i need uh or else i'm gonna run that red wire through my other channel i didn't really want to do that i wanted to run it with the with the uh, power cable trailer next on the agenda it's uh this trailer has been racked um i gotta get a, a new strap on the uh, winch up here gotta get some lights put on it um probably not gonna do a whole lot to the trailer i can see i don't know if this was all worth it i'm just gonna replace the trailer because it's a it's just a mess it's in a it's been wrecked which i think i figured out is what has happened to the boat why it had so much fiberglass repair on it originally i think they wrecked and i think it crunched part of the hole so i have repaired all of it um I don't know what else to say, honestly. I'm going to put a, um, probably gonna get like a cooler, the cooler corner mounts, whatever. Mount a cooler right here behind the seat. Something small, nothing, not a huge cooler. Uh, just something to put some drinks in and to keep it uh, forward of the boat. Seems like a good place to put it. And then that leaves me standing room to fish here, standing room to fish there. Um, I don't know if I wanna put a trolling motor back on this thing. Uh, I'll see. Let me just play with it. I still gotta get my fish finder mounts and everything done. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. But I don't know, that's the update for today. Thanks guys.